Hi, I'm Val with Hammer in Hand out here at the Pumpkin Ridge Passive House. And we're going to pick up where we left off on a previous video. We were talking about the air barrier and how it transitions from the wall under the trusses and then up along the underside of the bottom cord of the truss and uh, continues and then back down to the other side. So if we take a look over here, last video that we did, we, we were looking at a, about a three quarter inch protrusion of some OSB and now you can see that that OSB is, has tape on it that's taped to the OSB that we've nailed up under the bottom cord of these trusses. And as we previously discussed, that, that's the, the structure of our air barrier and it's also holding, it's supporting 24 inches of loose fill cellulose. So once that was installed, we, like I said, we taped the seams and that just gives us a continuous air barrier. And then in order to accommodate our ceiling light fixtures, we, we nailed up two by two uh, for a small service chase, basically just for the electrician, just for wiring. And we have, we'll have no cans in this ceiling assembly, just surface mounted lighting. So they'll have a lot of pendants and they have some fans, some other stuff. You can see at the ridge here, we have a light block that is I think for a fan in this case. So down here on the first floor of the Pumpkin Ridge Passive House, we're moving forward with our HVAC system as well as our plumbing and our electricians will be starting soon too. And we'll get caught up on that in some future videos as well as the window install. And we'll keep you guys checking this out as we go.